Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. To, today we're taking a little hike. We're at Potts Preserve again. We're on a trail we was on one other time, but we uh, we were just uh, geocaching that day. But there's a couple trees down here, so. But there's another reason why we're coming out here. We're gonna have lunch and stuff, but I'll get to that here a little bit later. So hang tight, guys. tree down here there's one here monkey said I should come out here and do a solo camp out under this tree but the trails right here so I don't really want to do that <laughs> have people walking past me and, you know but you can camp in here I would just uh, go off trail a little bit but this is the blue trail it's two point excuse me 2.2 miles I don't think we're going to go that far but like I said there's a reason why we wanted to come out here and do this and this trail is it's a well blazed trail you can see that blue mark there on that tree there's 20 some miles worth of hiking trails here that, what? There, what was I saying? 20 some miles of hiking trails in here. You can, you can mountain bike in here too. A lot of guys do that. They'll bring their e-bikes and they'll cruise around here. And uh, a lot of hikers be yeah, 20 some miles that's pretty good this is a animal trail here game trail that goes through there all right guys kick it back on here in a minute
You ever been at a crossroads in your life? Yeah, me too. Got some remnants of something here. Huh. Not sure what. Well, that's pretty cool. Not sure what that is. There's something up here. It's squared off. It's cut off there, but that is squared off. Another big pile of remnants there. These are boards, not trees. So, this used to be a gate here. You can see the that's what the gate would hang on. Hmm. Pretty neat. This is the back side or the other side of the square. So, this must have been some kind of shed or outbuilding. I think that's what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. 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 There's another corner post. Corner post. Well, this post is in line with this one, so maybe it was a cabin. Yeah, maybe. There's another one there. So yeah, pretty neat. Pretty much right in our backyard, all this stuff's around. Sorry about the wind. Pretty cool. There's a tree that'll be coming down soon. Great place. Surprised it's still standing, but it is. Another one that has fallen. Cool. So this is pretty cool. Little bridge. Must be like a fire road, but you, you're not allowed to drive back in here, so. Isn't that pretty cool? Should we? Whoa. <laughs> she just now noticed it's a bridge.
Yes. Yay, hey, we did it guys. We came out unscathed. Similar to that one we crossed. Oh, I don't know what what's been it's been over a year now when when we went to the cabin. Uh, we walked across, of course it was better than this one, but very nice. All right, guys, so monkey's right here behind me. We brought a little lunch. We just brought some soups. And what are we gonna do, Monk? You're gonna cook them up and we're gonna eat right here on the bridge. Yeah, but what was the whole purpose of this trip? Oh, well, you're going you shaved your beard and you're gonna leave your beard uh, for the birds, for the ne uh, nest. Yes. Yeah. Beards for birds. Yeah. Now. In Ohio, they used to do that. A lot of guys would. I knew I had an acquaintance. Acquaintance, he would grow his beard from March to March, every March, and he he grew a good beard, you know, like I can. And every March he would shave it, but he wouldn't go clear down the skin. But he'd come down real close, and he would take it out in the woods and and do that. And and you leave it in trees and stuff. So hopefully the birds, it's nesting season, so birds. Can, it'll help them make a nest and so what reminded me that was hike with Mike there you go hike with Mike uh, did that he grew a beard and he just shaved it off and he took it out in the woods birds for beards for birds and that's what reminded me that uh, his his channel link will be in my description uh, really nice guy. Uh, he spends a lot of time in the woods. That's that's his happy place as well as ours too. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get out as much as we should, but days like this, there's no reason for us to get out and do this. No, because we have many that are not that far from our home. We're a five-minute drive from the house. You know, okay, here we are. Yeah. To here. Yeah. yeah. We're but there's five others we can go to too that are, you know, not that far either. Yeah, but here there's, like I mentioned earlier, there's twenty-some miles of hiking trails in this area. Yeah. Right yeah. here, five-minute drive from the house, so there's no reason why we shouldn't get out more and just bring a little lunch, and that's what we're going to do yeah. now. Um, be fun. We're going to cook our lunch and. I see a tree right here. I think I'm going to leave. I don't have much because I just, I just, you know, trimmed my beard a few weeks ago, so I don't have much. But maybe a little, a little finch or a wren can use it. So uh, I see a tree right behind you there that we're going to put that in, and then we're going to cook lunch. I don't have much for the birdies this year, but next year I will have a lot more than this. This is beard, guys. I just want to leave it here for the birds. To... It's a good fire starter too if you run out of anything else.
mesh kit. Monkey soup, because she likes the shrimp. My soup. Carbonara. Wodak. I think this is what Brian and Marla sent me, isn't it? Yeah. This is the last one. How'd that get in there? Hopefully, I didn't forget my stove. There it is. That's my stove. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Should be enough. So I was just telling you guys uh, before I put the camera, turn the camera on, that <laughs> hers. I don't even think I recorded it, but I poured hers into her cup up to the line. It's going to take four minutes for hers. <coughs> Excuse me. Mine's going to take a little more water, so I'm going to bring it up to a boil. And then hopefully I don't forget to turn you back on for that one. In here, they're round. Cool. Oh no. What? It won't be big enough, bigger than the pot. <laughs> I got a remedy for that. I don't know how hot this is or spicy, so. And I used all my water up on our food and some of hers. There you go. And then now, how it's, how it's around. Cook for five minutes. Monkey still hasn't eaten hers, so I hope her noodles don't go real limp because she don't like limp noodles. <laughs> Insert joke now. 
probably didn't need that much water, but I will strain some out. It tells you to strain some out, so. I love this thing. It says 20 ounces of water, but you really don't need that much. But I probably got 20 ounces in there. Bring it back up to a boil. Then I'll strain it and add my stuff in. Be good to go. You got a tree? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Alright, now I've got to strain mine. How's yours? That's okay. That's it? Yeah. It has an aftertaste to it. But you like shrimp. Yeah, I don't even taste the shrimp. Alright, I'm going to give this a try. It's not really a review. But, Marlon and Brian saved me. Yeah. A little fork, isn't he cute? There you go. It's hot. Mmm. That's very good. Yeah. Good. I will share with you since you don't like yours. <laughs> Mine has an aftertaste to it. I don't know why, but I, I've had it in there for a while. But she I don't mean, like hers. Soup, you know? It doesn't go bad, so. No, you wouldn't. But That's the only one of those kind you didn't like. You bought that one, right? Yeah. Did you get the water out of the tap at the house? Or did you get it from the fridge? I got it out of the fridge. Hmm. Because it really has an aftertaste. It doesn't matter anyway because I boiled it. So. Yeah. Yeah, I was just asking. And besides, our water at the house is... Drinkable, yes. Yeah, well, it's filtered anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's filtered. It comes into the house... Then it runs through a filter before it goes anywhere else. Right. And then it's filtered when it comes out of the fridge. Yeah. So. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the that. soup itself. But it does have an aftertaste. Let's see. It. I'll show you what she got. She doesn't care for it. She loves shrimp. But this is the only one, I think, that you haven't liked. Yeah. Of this. Yeah, I think so. She bought this. Where'd you get this? Uh, one of the dollar stores. It could have been, yeah, Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Yeah, so, yeah, but like I, I'm, I'm going to have a couple bites of this. I'm going to share mine with hers. <laughs> she don't oh, like hers, no. so. That's okay. Okay, guys, so I gave her the rest of mine. There was spinach in the other one in hers. That's why she didn't like it. I tasted it. I knew right off the bat what it was, and I found a big piece of spinach in there. So we left it here, dumped it out. I didn't leave any trash. It's all in my bag for the animals they'll eat it mine's a little bit spicy it's tolerable it's very good again i give that two thumbs up yeah oh yeah it has a lot of flavor and it's really good yeah a lot of flavor but since it is a little bit spicy mm. found me a beer it just happened to be sitting right there i can't believe it i just found it in my backpack so it's cold 
So I'm gonna have a beer. Sit here with nature and a monkey and have a beer. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I got everything else picked up just except a few little pots and pans here. The video's not over yet. More to come, so stick around, guys. Okay guys, so we just came out here from the blue trail. And I don't know if this will look familiar to any of you guys, but let me zoom in here. That's the river over there. Yeah. That's where we were just at, at the beginning of the week. Pretty cool. Check his tree out, guys. Isn't that cool? And the palm tree grew out of where this was growing. Pretty neat. So see how much I can handle. <laughs> so she wants to try the pack, which so you got a gap there that should be t up there, but you got this gap here, and that'll pull down on you, but I mean, you got... <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that pack is going to be good for you when I get my new one or not. I don't know. But if you put stuff on the top, then that would be better, probably. Yeah, it might fill it out some. Yeah. Alright, she wants to try it for a little bit, so let's see how she does. Yeah, because... When I wore my jeans and my boots that one time and I fell, it really, I felt like I was 100 pounds on my legs. It made my legs weak. So that's why I didn't wear my jeans. But the shoes feel pretty good. I want to see how well this is going to work. Okay. Yeah, see, that should be more up there. But. Okay. okay. All right, we're, this is where we camped, right there. And the tent was just on the other side of the picnic table there. And right there's where we had the boat parked. All right. So, we're gonna head back to the truck. We got about a mile. See this orange trail here, see that? This is the orange trail. All right, off we go. Okay, so who is this talking about? This kind of this kind of upsets me because I wanted to reserve more than two days, and I couldn't. That was the only two days I could get this week. And you guys seen I was the only one here Wednesday night. I left Thursday. There was one guy come up on a boat. He was moving over to my spot when I left. But look at this, here it is, Saturday. Not one person camping. These guys are kayakers. So I think what's happening, sorry, hang on the wind. So I think what's happening is I think these damn kayakers, which they are very rude people and they won't get out of your way. They think, well, 
this this kayak I don't have to follow the rules well you do because you're still it's still a boat it's a small boat but it's a boat uh, they go where they want but I think what they're doing is reserving this because the gate's locked and you have to have a, a code in order to get that code you have to reserve this place well here they reserve it just so they can come back here and put their their kayaks in there and go kayak and then they'll leave at the end of the day and then you got an empty campground like this that no one can use because it's already reserved for these two guys you follow what i mean and that's not fair and it's not right and that really upsets me you know because this was for the whole week of this week was the only two days i could get was the two days we were here and that was it and as you can see here it is saturday afternoon did i say friday anyway it's saturday afternoon right now and look not one person camping but how did they get back in here well i'll tell you how they got back in here they had to reserve to get the gate code because the gate's locked you cannot get back in here unless you have a reservation to get the gate code and i i don't think it's right i think they should have to put in up the boat ramp you know i mean because here people want to want to camp and here they're just reserving all they're doing is reserving a camp site or whatever they're reserving it so they can just go spend the down water come back and leave so they don't have to walk or do anything like that and then you know here people want to go camp and pitch a tent and stuff they can't because they reserved this place just so they could do that that's not fair it's not right Something needs to be done about it. That's that's not right at all. Because like if I want to go camp tonight and try to reserve it, I won't be able to reserve it. It'll be grayed out. And the reason why it's in the gray is meaning that there's no reservations left. And as you can see, there's all kinds of places I can camp. Not one person camping back there. But we got two kayakers. It's not fair. Okay guys. So back at the gate. Sorry about the little rant, but that really upsets me that all that's back there not being used when it could be. But, so, we're back. Monkey's going to the car. <laughs> I don't know why she parks clear over there, but she does. But she, <laughs> She's got the pack on. She made it the rest of the way back here. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out uh, Monkey1000 channel, Hike with Mike. Um, link to his channel will be in the description below. And, uh, yeah, so, had a great time. What a beautiful day. It's a wonderful weekend. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for joining us on our little hike today. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us on our picnic. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.